Hello, it's Carissa, and I'm just going to show you how to make an APA 7 style bar chart using Google Sheets. So we're currently in Google Sheets. Let's go ahead and head over to Jamovi to get our data. Okay, so we've already done our frequency tables and our descriptives. So we'll just go ahead and right click um, on the frequency table and just press copy. And we'll see it's now copied to our clipboard. And now we can head back over to Google Sheets. We'll just go ahead and press Command V or Control V, depending on what type of computer you are on, and it pastes our table, which is great. Now we're just going to go ahead and remove these extra columns so that we only have the information that we need. And you can just um, delete them one at a time, or you can highlight them all by holding down the Command key and clicking them, um, or the Control key. So I just clicked out of it, so I'll just go ahead and do it again. And we right click and press delete selected columns. So now we have just the information that we are interested in. And we'll go ahead and highlight what we want to include in the bar chart itself, which is the variable and the counts. And we'll go insert um, chart. And it gives us a pie chart, which is not what we want yet. So we'll go ahead to the chart type and just um, go to the bar chart. And there's actually, there's more options down here, but the bar chart is right here. So we'll just go ahead and click it. Okay. So this is our starting plot. Now to make it APA, we have to make some modifications. So the first thing that we're going to do is click on this title and press delete because we don't have a title like that in an APA 7 bar chart. The next thing that we're going to do is relabel this text the x-axis label. And we can either double click and it'll highlight the text and type in marital status. Or we could also type it in over here. And then we're just going to bold the label because our axes titles, so our x-axis label and our y-axis label are bolded in APA format. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and fix our x-axis. By. So we double click it and it opens up our horizontal axis. Um, this looks good. We just need to add tick marks to this line that we have. So we'll uh, go down to grid lines and ticks and then click major ticks. And this gives us uh, tick marks that go on both sides of the axis. But what we need to do um, is we need to make sure that the, um, the tick marks are only on the outside. So we can do that by, again, we're in grid tick marks and we're in the horizontal axis, right? So we're working with the X axis. Tick position, let's just press outside. Um, and they're kind of long, so we can go ahead and just make them a little bit shorter. So now we have these tick marks um, on our X axis. So now the next thing we're going to do is come over to our Y axis. We'll double click on the Y axis label and bold it. Um, it is counts, and that's what we want there, so there's no need to relabel it. And then let's go ahead and select our y-axis values. And we're going to go ahead over here under vertical axis, press show axis line. So now we have a line here. So now to add tick marks, we're going to go to the grid lines and ticks drop-down menu, and we're going to select major ticks, position outside, and length six. So now we have our tick marks and our um, on our y-axis and our x-axis. And so the last thing we need to do is get rid of these horizontal um, light gray lines. And we can do that also under the grid lines and ticks um, drop down by just hitting this major grid lines box. Okay, so now that's really the base of our APA salmon style plot. We can change the color by just double clicking so that all of the columns are highlighted. And we can go to fill color and maybe we want them to be light blue and maybe we want the line color a nice border on our plot. Um, so you can make some of those modifications. One thing I noticed looking at this plot is that it's not really providing much information to include the missing data. So we can actually just go ahead and remove that by going to, again, so just double click on the plot and it'll bring up these options. We'll go setup and data range. 
Okay, and so right now it's saying it's starting at A3, which is our label right here, down to B9, which is right here. So we want it to go from A3 to B8. So we'll just go ahead and make it B8 and press OK. And it'll automatically update your chart while keeping all of the formatting elements that we just made.